Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we will demystify the use of Pydentic in Python based backend application. We will understand how we can validate the request and response using Pydentic. In order to understand this, we will build a small fast API backend application and understand where we can use Pydentic. So let's get started. Before we move forward, I would like to show you that there is a complete documentation on fast API and Pydentic available on their official websites. I highly recommend that you go through that because it is very helpful. Now here I'm on my Visual Studio code and I have opened a folder where I want to write the code. The first thing I'll do is that I'll open a new terminal and here I'll say UV VENV to create a new virtual environment and then source into the newly created virtual environment. After that, I'll install two packages fast API and UV con and I'll hit enter. Here I'll create a new main dot pi file. Here I'll create our fast API server. I'll say my app equals to fast API. I'll say app dot get async def handle get home and I'll return OK at this point. In order to reload the application whenever we make changes into any of the files, I'll create a new run.py file and here I'll import the app and run it using uvcon so i'll say if underscore underscore name equals to underscore underscore main underscore underscore then import uvcon and uvcon dot run the app is in my main file and the variable name that holds the app is app. I'll say the port I want to use is 5000 and reload equals to true. I'll save this. Now in the terminal, if I say python run.py, you'll see that we have our application running. And if I control click here, you'll see the OK response. Now let's create another route. This will be a post route. Let's say paste this route will receive a request in a body and then send response as a JSON object. Now, in order to get whatever we have received in this body, we need to import request. I'll say from fast API request import request. I'll say request is of type request and here I'll say or maybe body equals to await request dot json so whatever sent here will be received into body let me print the body itself 
and we will return an object saying status okay and let's say message success i'll save this you can see our application reloaded itself so i'll minimize that at this point now i'll open a tool where we can test the application so this is kind of a postman tool it's known as insomania and i'm fond of this tool so i'm using it it doesn't matter what tool we use at this point so this base url is the one on which our server is running so i'll say test and from this body part i'll just add a json body and i'll say name raj let's say number one two three four five and i'll hit send you'll immediately see that we receive this thing status okay message success and if i here if i see that whatever body was sent is received into the application and we have printed it successfully now i'll create a new file called schemas.py here from pydentic i'll import a base model and i'll create a new class let's say uh, custom request that inherits all the things from base class and here i'll say this class has a name variable or property which is of type string number which is a type of int let me close this for a bit i want to show you one thing let's say custom request object equals to custom request i'll say name raj number 12345 i'll print that now there are a couple of methods model dump that means convert it into json model dump json that means convert into json understandable string so i'll clear the screen and i'll say python schemas you'll see this is the object itself this is the json representation and this is the json version string json version of the object itself so this way it becomes very easy to handle the application now if i do something like this it seems that it receives integer but i'm passing a string let's see what happens it's still converted into a number because this is number and it can be casted into int but now i'll do this thing save this and run this you'll see that we have an error which says that you know you are passing one two three four five a b c d and we try to convert it into int because the property is int but we are unable to do that but in case if i do string and try this it will work so i hope you understand that whatever data type you have written for your properties pydentic tries to convert whatever received into the data type in case if it fails it throws an error so with these functionality we can validate the request and response 
in the route itself so i'll just remove all of these things now we have received our body and the body again is i guess this is the body we are sending number and name so what i'll do is that i'll say custom request object equals to i'll import it from schemas import custom request and i'll say custom request since this is kind of a dictionary i can pass it as keyword argument and we can check that as well i'll save this now let me run the application and let's test the same thing we receive okay and if we see here this is the original body and this is the converted object so if i now do dot here and say name we can see both the properties associated with this class and if i try to send something else we'll see internal server error cause the application has an issue converting the body into object and we can obviously handle that using validation error but we are not going to do it we are going to use fast api and pydentic to handle that so this schema looks good i'll create one more schema this will take status which will be of type string and a message which will be of type string as well now i'll go to main.py and instead of returning this i'll return our custom response and i'll come here and i'll say custom response and here i'll say my status is okay and my message is success i'll save this i'll open this tasting tool and hit enter you'll see we received okay and success fast api uses pydentic in backend so that if it receives a pydentic object it automatically tries model dump on it we can try that as well i'll say model dump i'll save this and if i go here and run this we'll see the same response again so if you pass this model dump or not pydentic converts that into model dump so that means we have now a way to convert the body into a object and you know check all the parameters that it has which makes it type safe so whenever i do dot and name i'm sure that there is a name property and a way to use a class when we send response so that we can have full type safety and validation as well in case i write something which is not valid for this class it will throw an error now since we have seen this how to use this schema into our route let's have some fast api functionality to incorporate this to request and response pydentic model so if i go to app post and see the different options then there is a response model i'll say 
response model and i'll say it is custom response class so now it always tries to match the response with this and if it is not possible to convert the response into this it will throw an error now instead of receiving the request itself here i'll say custom request object which will be of type custom request and i'll not do these three things now and when i save this and try to test it again and hit enter we'll see that we receive the same response there is no change you can see now we have a type and validation safe object of the class custom response now i'll show you one more thing if i come here and i say a b c d e and hit enter we'll see that a very detailed error that the body number is of type integer but we have received a string and we even try to parsing the string but we are unable to do that so by using this simple class we validated the request and when we come here it is sure that the request has all the things that we need so i hope this video helps you understand the use of pydentic in python based backend application if you like the work i put on my youtube channel please consider subscribing to my channel that helps thank you for watching enjoy the life feel the music peace